Okay, so sometimes some of these problems require you to do a chain rule more than once. And so I want to do a problem like that here. So these kind of problems where you do chain rule more than once, we kind of have a modified chain rule. So the original one that I gave you is one that only had two terms. This is one that has three terms. What we have here is we have an outside, an inside, and an innermost function. I have an f of g of u. Okay. So this is the formula. You're going to do the derivative of the outside function, derivative of the f, then we'll do derivative of the inside one, derivative of g, and then finally we'll do the derivative of u. Before we jump into that and use the formula, let's first identify what we have in this given problem here. The u is going to be the innermost function there, and that's going to be 9 theta. Next, I want to find g of u. Okay, so g of u is going to be cosine of u, so, or cosine of 9 theta. In this case, we'll write it as in terms of u. Then, we want to identify the f. The f is going to be this one on the outside. It's, it's going to be f of, of u is going to be, f of g of u, I should say, is going to be sine of cosine of u. Okay, so I have that. So I have the innermost function, I have the middle one, I have the outside one, I have all three identified. So now that we have these identified, we're ready to apply the chain rule formula. So first, f primed of theta, okay, we need to start with f primed of g of u. We want to do the derivative of the outside function, which in this case is going to be sine. Derivative of sine is cosine. So what do I write on the inside? Okay, well, it's f primed of g of u. g of u, we said, was cosine of u, or we'll put cosine 9 theta. In this case, we'll put the 9 theta back in for u. That takes care of the first part. The second part, we want to do g primed of u. All right, so we're going to multiply this by the derivative of cosine. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. But what is it? It's g primed of u. So it's negative sine of 9 theta. We can put that back in. Actually, you don't even need the parentheses here, so we can just write it as 9 theta. Then the very last part says we're going to multiply it by the derivative of u. u is 9 theta, so we're going to multiply this by 9. So this is your whole derivative. Here's the three different parts that we're multiplying together that follow the formula that we have there. Let's rearrange it, and that's about all we can do on this problem. So we'll put the negative 9 sign on the outside. It doesn't really matter the order in which you write these in. And then we have cosine times cosine of 9 theta. And be careful you don't write this as cosine squared. It's not. It's cosine of cosine that you have on this particular one. So this is your final answer. That's as far as we can go with our answer.